Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. In today's video, I wanted to talk about whether or not service providers, specifically those in the beauty industry, should have the right to deny service to a customer. And I know this is gonna be like a little bit of a controversial topic, so I was a little hesitant to even do a video on it, but I was like, you know what, I'm so sick and tired of people like getting offended and being afraid of offending other people. Like there are things that we should talk about. I know a lot of people who follow me are either in the beauty industry or are interested in getting into the beauty industry. And this is just one of the realities of the field that I feel like I wanted to talk about it. I want to get your opinions. Let's get a conversation going about it, you know, but let's keep it respectful and just try to have an open mind with this topic. So recently I kept hearing about this trans woman in Canada. She went to, I believe, multiple spas and made an appointment to get a Brazilian wax. And then when the waxer saw that this person had male genitalia, they didn't feel comfortable performing the service. And so she went and I believe sued the spas and ended up putting them out of business. I don't know all the specific details, so if you wanna Google it and do your own research. But anyway, it was getting me thinking about stories in the past. Like I remember there was another story, there was a bakery and a gay couple came in, I think wanting a wedding cake done and the bakery refused to make them their cake. They said they didn't believe in gay marriage. It was against like their religious beliefs, I guess. I just feel like there's been a bunch of stories like that in the news over the last several years. And years ago, I remember when I had first heard about that bakery story, it was like way before I ever went to cosmetology school, before I was a hairstylist and I remember at the time thinking like that is so messed up these people just want a freaking cake they're willing to pay for it like what does it matter if they're gay or not like they should be able to just get their wedding cake but now as a hairstylist and as someone in the service industry I feel like I have a little bit of a different perspective I see it a little differently now and even though don't get me wrong okay I am not homophobic I am not against gay rights or trans people or any like I am just pro-human rights in general, okay? I don't, I don't care what you are, what you do, what you look like, I, whatever. As someone who performs services for customers, I think that as the provider of the service, you should have the right to turn people away. I just don't think that people should be forced to do something that they don't wanna do or they don't feel comfortable doing. And I'm just gonna use myself and use doing hair as an example. So say somebody comes in to the salon and they request a service. For example, um, say they want a fade, whether they're male or female, doesn't matter, but they want their head shaved, they want like a really tight, clean fade. I'm not a barber. I'm not trained to do that type of service. Not only do I know that it's not gonna come out that good, but I also just don't enjoy doing those types of cuts. It's not something that I do, it's not something that I want to do, quite frankly. So if somebody comes in and they ask to get that done, I think that I should have the right as a service provider to say no. Or say somebody comes in and what they're asking for is something that I specialize and I do and it's no problem, but maybe that particular client is just very difficult. They're problematic for whatever reason. Whatever the case may be, it's just a situation where I personally feel like doing their service isn't going to be beneficial for the business. It's not gonna be worth it in the long run because maybe it's going to negatively affect my reputation in some type of way. Or maybe it's just gonna take too much of a toll on me personally and stress me out. And I'll give you a perfect example. I've actually had a few clients that I'm just like, this isn't worth it for me. So I had this one client that started coming to me and every time she would come into the salon, she would talk so loudly about the most inappropriate things. Like she would tell me about her sex life. She would go into detail about like how long her boyfriend lasts in bed, the size, of what he's got going on down there. She was talking about like giving birth and how she's really scared that it's gonna make her loose and how she's, I, you know what, I, I don't even, I'm not even, <laughs> but like just very, very vivid 
sexual things. She talked about her past with drugs, selling them, people that she would associate with. And there was just like a lot of shady stuff going on in her personal life based on what she would tell me. And then on top of that too, she was very flaky. She would cancel last minute a lot or just straight up forget about her appointments, which is like a whole nother issue. But it's just like, I don't know, she was very nice but I just didn't really feel comfortable. And my boss agreed, like we just didn't feel comfortable having her come in because it was just like, uh, it, it made other clients feel uncomfortable. It made us feel uncomfortable. Luckily I never had to have that awkward conversation with her and like tell her things aren't working out. She just eventually stopped coming. So it all worked out in the end. I just realized that I have an eyelash on my cheek. I don't know how long that was there for. <laughs> So going back to the whole transgender Brazilian wax thing, I personally don't do full body waxes. I've never done a Brazilian. I'm not trained to do them. But I was talking to my good friend from beauty school because she works at a European wax center and I wanted to know what her opinion was on it. And she was like, listen, I am not shy about things. Like, I don't care. I will wax whoever, whatever. Nothing bothers me, nothing phases me. And I would have no problem waxing male genitalia but she was like i was never trained though how to do that the technique is a little bit different and if you think about like men you know there's a lot of extra skin down there you gotta kind of pull things a little bit differently there's a lot of crevices and whatever i mean i, I don't think that it's being transphobic or discriminatory in any type of way like that it just is what it is. And why would you want somebody to do a service on you that they're not trained to do? They could potentially hurt you, they could do something wrong, and then they're gonna be liable for it. So from a professional technical standpoint, a service provider, a business, should be able to deny that service. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on that topic. I just kinda wanted to get a conversation going about this. I've been talking to some of my friends that are also in the beauty industry, and I just find it interesting getting like everybody's take on it, so. Let me know what you guys think about it. And if you work in the service industry and you have turned somebody away, I'd love to know the story and what happened and why you decided to refuse service. So yeah, let's chat in the comment section. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in following me on Instagram, I have my personal account and then my professional hair account as well. So feel free to go follow me over on either one of those, both of them, whatever you wanna do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.